so yeah whoa look at the catch i'm a jedi like reflexes yeah so What's up, Wolf Packers? It's your boy, Wolf Doggy Dog. Before we get started, let me remind you guys to drop us a like if you enjoyed this review. Subscribe if you are new to the channel. Share us with some Star Wars enthusiasts. Bam, check it out. Two dead troopers. We beat the street dead by, I don't know, maybe about a week. I uh, got these a couple a couple days ago. Uh, I asked I asked the store clerk if uh, they could scan it for me, and turns out no street date, no nothing showed up. So certain stores will let you slide. Other stores are extremely strict to where they'll they'll take them from you and put them in the bag. It's like, well, why why'd you even put them out? Why'd you even put them out, Target? But yeah, street dates are something that uh, are really really something of an of an annoyance. Uh, drop a like if you can't stand street dates. Drop a like if you think that street dates need to be abolished turn on notifications guys i just picked these up from the toy connect hot off the press we got veronica and moira mctaggart uh both with the x-men both marvel ladies the ladies of marvel um we're probably going to be opening these up on the live stream this saturday uh tune in saturdays at 12 p.m pacific 3 p.m on the east coast right now because of uh daylight saving time 9 p.m uh greenwich mean time so yeah whoa look at the catch i'm a jedi like reflexes yeah so uh tune tune in we're gonna be opening these guys up on the live stream we know they made their first appearance in rogue one they were director krennic's personal goon squad and then in the mandalorian live action tv show moff gideon got to use them as his uh goon patrol as well burn them out so with these i was only able to find two and i picked these up this whole wave is pretty much they're calling this the army builder wave there's these the sand the sand people uh tuscan raiders they've got shore troopers as well as the hover tank pilots. And you're free to buy as many as your wallet will allow you. Now with us, we buy them in threes and we write on the back, Huey, Dewey, and Louie. You say uh, Huey, Dewey, and Louie. That's kind of our take of Tag and Bink in the expanded universe. If you guys know that comic line. So yeah, that's what we do. Uh, card backs on the back has the timeline that George Lucas is trying to tell us he's been doing this since the 72, 71, sorry, George. And um, nothing nothing really else. No side art. Top of box looks like, looks like that. Take a screenshot of this if you guys are still trying to find this figure. That might help you out with your toy hunts. What do you say we have him meet the blade? With this line, we don't really have a a reason to preserve box art anything like that so we're just gonna bust these open and recycle imperial death trooper come on out So he got his standard blaster, typical blaster, but a little stronger than the uh, than what your stormtroopers have. Good little detail, I believe it was a little red. Yeah, there's just a little teeny tiny bit of red on the gun itself. And then he comes with the sidearm, which is bigger than the sidearm that say the uh, the speeder bikes have on their holsters. Kind of, that's kind of cool. Like you wouldn't be able to grip it, but I see how they're trying to give like a look. Like it, it looks more like a clip though than than anything. Not too different. If you wanted to, one guy can have akimbo blasters, and the other can have the standard blaster rifles. All 
there. So here are our boys. Pristine black. Now they're in Mandalorian. They used actors that were about seven feet tall for these figures. Let's let's take the uh, the Wolfpack official safety tape or measuring tape and uh, see if they actually reach seven inches. They do not. About six and a half. Six and a half for a standard. They, they would almost be going in, into the realm of McFarlane. Going uh, seven, seven inches. Let's check out their articulation though. See if they've got the good articulation. Remnant Trooper. Flame Trooper. Storm Troopers. With the good articulation. The new, the new articulation with the butterfly joints. So it clicks up that far. Can go full 360. Single jointed at the elbows. He's got an in and out hinge at the hand as well as on the other side. So no, they, they do not come with that butterfly joint. So this is the older mold from, I believe, 2016. One thing that they do have is that this uh, shoulder pad is soft and pliable. So before the plastic itself wouldn't let you kick up any further than that. Now, since it's soft, pliable, almost rubber, you're getting that high up on both, which is de definite improvement. Definite improvement that your figure can do that. Uh, butterfly joint, yeah, I would have, I would have loved to, to have gotten the butterfly joint in there. We've got a upper diaphragm rocker similar to the females in Marvel Legends. No waist swivel. Uh, it's soft pliable rubber on the plat. Well, th this part isn't, but the butt is uh, soft pliable. So we're gonna get a little bit better of a kickback than we normally do and then kicks forward that high it's decent it's decent you can spread them that far if you're a customizer you can shave off some of this uh this thigh pad and that gives you that gives you more flex to kick to kick up if you're really really freaky if you know if you know a guy i i know a guy but uh you might be able to get a thigh cut in there uh like i said that's do do that at your own risk if you're uh, customizing Double jointed, can kick his own butt, that's pretty cool. No calf swivel, kicks up that much, back that much, and a full 360 at the ankle, I like it. With the head, there's no dumbbell joint on the inside, so it's only single articulation. He's gonna be looking up that far, as well as looking that far, but what he can give you is a full 360. And then the blaster sits in kind of weird. It's uh, soft pliable rubber, it's just a loop just a loop that sits there and i believe the blaster goes in like that let's let's take this guy in the studio we'll play around with them just a little bit and see what it do stick around back in the studio guys what do you say we take him to the tape measure one more time as you can see he stands just above six inches call it six and a half what do you guys say we do some size comparisons here we've got him with one of Mischievous Unicorn's drawings, Scary Terry. Here we've got him with the Gold Standard, Pizza Spider-Man. Here we've got him with Marvel Select, Venom. Here we've got him next to Killer Mike's Soda from In-N-Out, and in case you're wondering, Coca-Cola. Here's the Infected Predator from the Predator vs. Alien video game. And finally, we've got him next to the world's greatest energy drink. Bang! Get you on. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this review. Drop us a like if you enjoyed this review. Subscribe if you are new to the channel. Share us with some Star Wars enthusiasts. Deuces. We'll catch you on the next one.